guys, it's Tyler. It's Leah. It's Margo. And we are here with another snack crate. Um, Paul is not here with us, but we're in his office, so surprise! Um, but we do have our friend Margo here with us. Um, so this week from Snack Crate, we have a lovely box that is from Bam! Poland! Very exciting. Um, so, anyways, we're gonna dig into this box of pollen, um, but let's look at a couple of fun facts first. Yeah, alright, let's see. Um, poles eat pizza with ketchup. That's disgusting. Makes no sense because there's already, what, tomato sauce on it. Yeah, but I bet it's weird to them that we eat ranch with ours. That would That's true. Happen. Okay, other than that. Okay, um, it says. Uh, the biggest section of any grocery store in Poland is the candy section. Love it. Interesting. I'm already liking it. Yep. Um, and let's see. I think this is cool. Watching Home Alone is a Christmas tradition in Poland. It's, okay, it has to be a Christmas tradition everywhere. Yeah. Because uh, we watch it every Christmas, single year. Mine is a Christmas story. So that's what we watch. I said talking. Whatever. Ooh, it's a taki. Yeah. Ooh, it this says it's a very traditional and popular Polish snack. Um, it says this is Polish gingerbread coated in sugar. Okay, I'm all for this. Yep. I I'm really in. hope it's like super cinnamony. Like <laughs> <laughs> the smell. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Ready? I like the taste, I don't like the texture. Tastes like a donut. A stale donut. Yeah. It's, it's like stale. harder than what I thought. But it's not. But it's like so chewy. Yeah. Um, I'm not really digging the aftertaste. I'll eat all of it. I don't like the texture. Okay. Critique? No. You're. These are the first. The first name, I really don't know how to pronounce them. Petite Bure. Um, Bure. It's delicious butter biscuits that pair nicely with coffee or tea. Okay, 100 grams. Okay, let's check out the cows. Calorie friendly. Is it just like singles? Oh, okay, it's like a little cracker. Only want a cracker? It smells good. It smells like. Mm. It smells like a vanilla cracker. Okay. It smells like the outside of a blonde, like a goldy Oreo, like a blonde Oreo. Mm -hmm. It tastes like an animal cracker to me. Yeah. Like there's not a whole lot of flavor to it, but just a hint. No, good. Well. It's not a cracker, it's more of a cookie. It is, mm -hmm. more of a cookie. Like, the, the thickness or the, the um... Texture? Yeah, the texture is like an animal cracker. Mm -hmm. I forgot all this was in like Polish, so I can't get it. Aha! And um... Aha! <laughs> 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 no. um, it looks like a bird seed. Yeah, it oh, was with the poppy seed? Yeah, in the, in the picture it kind of looks like a Rice Krispie treat, but it's a lot smaller. Um. This popular Polish treat is sesame seeds rolled with sugar. The name comes from the sound it makes when it snaps. So important. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, so there's three in one. Perfect. That one looks so skinny. Oh, it smells like peanut brittle. Yeah. Or, um, yeah, that's like a payday. I'm gonna try it. Oh, I I get the aha thing. Did you hear it? Okay, I'll do it again. Oh, it's good, it's good. Like when you bite into it? Someone thought really hard into that. This is good, just like a payday. But it doesn't taste like what I thought it would taste like. No. I was expecting like a hamburger bun. Hello, Zuki. Um it says that that word means Polish little fingers. Mm -hmm. Similar to salted pretzels, these are easily the most popular salty snack in Poland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is literally a pretzel. Yeah, this is from it. America. Szlowiki? Szlowiki. Is that right? Szlowiki? 
I don't know. It's Loeke. It's plum and chocolate. It's a Polish plum. chocolate surrounding a fresh plum. A very traditional Polish candy. I love plums. I mean, yeah. Oh, I have no problem with plum. Mm. Oh, it's really good. It's not bad. It tastes like what you think, chocolate and a plum. It's not bad. Or you a really big raisin in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a good way to describe it. It's like dark chocolate. The chocolate's really good. I love dark chocolate. The yeah. It's really, really good. I mean, so far I've been pretty impressed with everything that we've had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, nothing's been bad. Mm -hmm. Is it Prince Polo? That's how I would say it. No, Prince Polo XXL. So, Poland's most popular Prince chocolate Polo. bar. It's Prince exceptionally Polo. crunchy wafers covered with rich dark chocolate. Tyler's just not sure about it. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> Is it sanitary? <laughs> like questionable to me. I mean, bar? it tastes like a chocolate wafer. You can hear when you bite into it, there's a crisp. Um, but it literally tastes like a chocolate wafer, you know I mean? It's almost like a... It's kind of like a, a Kit Kat. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I guess you like it, don't you? Tiramisu chocolate. Okay. Ripping off them. So, uh, it says this is a chocolate bar filled with creamy tiramisu. Yeah. Uh, it's like having two desserts in one. So kind of like a Hershey bar, you know how Like Legos! Little, yeah, like Hershey bars have the little pieces you can break off. Oh, just broke right off. Similar to that. Chocolate's really good at repeating. It's not bad. I'm gonna take a hard pass. It's not bad, but um. It's not my favorite though. Um, this is Cardi Prince it. Polo Hazelnut. All of it? No, it's not. Oh, I was gonna. <laughs> it says, We knew you'd love your first Prince Polo. Polo. Um, this one is made with hazelnut cream. Do you like it better than the other one? Yeah, that's my jam. <laughs> you know that one, I'll take this one. That's my jam. Yeah. I like it. Hard pass. I think that was the worst thing I've had. What? Like in the box. No way. Yeah. Or in the data, you. Mm -mm. Um, this intensely flavored soda is made with orange, apple, and black currant juices. Oh, it's making me nervous. Gross. Okay. This is the packaging. It's kind of... It's got a skitter boy. It, it kind of tastes like carbonated cough syrup. It, yeah, not so much. At all. It's just like... It does. It tastes like a carbonated cough syrup. That is not a good taste. Cow. I feel like I'm gonna be melted. It's called Cro no, Crocowie. <gasps> like a skinny cow. Knockoff brand. Famous wobble. What? Literally, this is chocolate. Like, okay, like a cow because it looks like this. It's filled with flowing hair. Uh oh, okay. I'm gonna show the viewers. Knockoff brands. Hmm. Tastes like a skinny cow. It's really sweet. It's more caramely. That's very good. Kind though. of like the little Ghirardelli squares. Squir you know, that's it. Okay, so what was y'all's favorite thing that we tried? This wafer thing. Here's the deal. The a lot of them were are... really good and they tasted just like American candy, so I really don't have anything to complain about. There were a yeah. couple that were really the best. Um, but I mean I kind of like the aha because it reminded me of a food, like a different form food. So I think I would go with that one. I like the tiramisu chocolate bar. It's the best. Yeah. Well, with all that being said, Colin, you did a pretty good job for the most part. Um, so 
We'll get back to you next time. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.